Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, I am going to talk about Sandbox. This is another virtual reality realm similar to Decentraland, but it's new. It's still going through some beta testing, hasn't gone live, but in a way is a good thing because it does allow you and give you an opportunity to buy some land at relatively low prices compared to other virtual land like Decentraland. Uh, so I'm going to go over all the details of purchasing land, virtual land in Sandbox, but also about the token. The, uh, there is a token called Sand, similar to the Central Line, Mana, which is a token uh, you're able to buy stuff within the Central Line. There is a token called Sand that you're able to stuff, buy stuff, NFTs, land, things like that within the Sandbox uh, metaverse virtual reality land. So I am going to go over the details about Sand, the token, the sandbox, the virtual reality realm, what is it all about, all the details in depth. So if you have any questions, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe below to the YouTube channel. Again, questions, <clears throat> ask them down below in the YouTube comments and I'll answer all of them, all right guys? So let me share my screen and let's get started, okay? All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So what I'm gonna do really quickly, I am gonna share my screen. Um, and right now, what I, what I wanna kind of show you guys is the sandbox the website so the home page is right here sandbox.game slash en slash which is for english but this is a new virtual reality um space virtual reality realm uh, another a part of the metaverse uh, again similar to the central land but it's new and it's going through a lot of beta testing right now so it kind of looks a lot like minecraft um but it, it definitely can allow you for more in-depth games uh, within this world. Uh, so that's what I really like about it. There's already a market. Uh, so you're able to buy other NFTs, like characters, things like that. Um, and, uh, and, and of course, you all, what I like, one of the things that I actually really, really like about uh, Sandbox is you're actually able to create games by yourself without, not knowing, without knowing how to code because you know, most of these realms, in order for you to create something, whether it be land, uh, buildings, things like that, sometimes you need to know how to code. With the sandbox, hey, <clears throat> you could actually download what's called a game maker. Um, and I, I'm actually gonna do that. And with this, you're able to create your own games. So according to this, building games for the metaverse, anyone can build 3D games for free, no coding required, contributes to a vast metaverse filled with amazing creations and experiences. Uh, so you can create for free, uh, build and share, uh, no, again, no code required. Uh, but this is what I like about the sandbox. Um, so with the sandbox, you'll be able to monetize the games you create, play to earn, and is unlocked through our rewarding model for players and creators who will have strong incentives to play and create with rewards that have real world value. So how to earn in the sandbox? You actually you could earn... Uh, real crypto uh, through playing games, uh, building games, and you monetize these games. Again, you can build these for free, and you don't need to know how to code. You could just download the game maker. But also, you could create assets like uh, like accessories, uh, characters, things like that as well. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of uh, gallery of videos and stuff they've done. Uh, of course, the other thing you could do is buy land, buy land within Sandbox. And this is pretty much the, the map, the big overview map of how uh, the sandbox looks like. So we got, I guess, the east side, the central side, and then the west side of it. Um, and anything in green, uh, actually, if you look at right here, um, this is lands that uh, available, book, purchase, premium, and unavailable. So there's definitely some opportunity to, to, to buy some, uh, some land. Uh, a lot of it's been purchased, but it's actually being sold right now on OpenSea. And that's pretty much where I want to take you guys right now. So this is OpenSea. And I want to show you guys the prices because they're relatively low compared to some prices that I've seen in the central land. Um, and let me show you this one, actually. This one sold for $3.899, and which is around $1,600, uh, which is not bad in terms of price compared to other stuff that I've seen before. So I kind of like this, uh, the, the prices, and actually gets, it shows you right here the coordinates of where this land is located, um, which is kind of nice, uh, but there's more, you know, and this is, this is stuff that's recently sold. 
So that's so I, I kind of filter by stuff that is recently sold. So it kind of gives you an idea what the market is looks like. So you see 0 0.5, 0 0.368, 0 0.6. Uh, you see, you can create a motorcycle right here. Uh, this guy created a dragon, and again, it's trying to sell it. Um, so the, again, like I mentioned, this is what I like about the sandbox. With the game maker, uh, with this thing right here, um, the game maker, you could create, you could create uh, stuff. You could create a character to create games, and again, you could monetize that um, and put it up for sale on OpenSea. So that is something that I'm very, very uh, interested in, in, in right now. So you can see that some characters are being sold. Uh, and again, you see the S, that stands for sandbox, sand. So 350 sand, um, and which is $179 right now. And actually that's what I'm gonna go over because some of this stuff is priced in Ethereum and some of the stuff is priced in sand. Um, and I'm going to go over right now the price of sand because this might be confusing. So as you guys can see right here, this 3.899, that is price in Ethereum. And when you see the S next to it, that is sand, which is a token within the sandbox, uh, the sandbox uh, uh, a virtual realm. So let me go over the price of sand. Right now, the, the price of sand is 0 0.5128. Uh, so it's 50 cents per one sand, one token of sand. Um, the ticker symbol is A, S, A, and D. <clears throat> and if you look at the, the historic chart, the alt or the one-year chart, let me actually look at the one-year chart, see how that looks. So the one-year chart, uh, we can see that in, a, in a, let's say October, 2020, the price of sand was four cents and it literally skyrocketed. And right now we're looking at, again, 50 cents uh, per, per sand token, which is a pretty big move. Um, but the other details that I want to kind of mention is that, um, so if you want to own part of the, the reality realm, similar to the central line where you, if you buy mana, you could own part of the central line, you could buy sand, S-A-N-D. So there's definitely gives you an opportunity to invest in the whole project is by owning sand. Um, but again, you could also build on a platform. You could create a game and you can monetize that. You create characters, you can monetize that. So uh, definitely there's def different opportunities to create an economy within the game. So this is some of the details that I want to kind of cover really quickly. Uh, so the live sandbox price today is 0 0.50, uh, you know, which pretty much like 50 cents. Uh, within a 24 uh, hour volume, there's uh, 56 uh, million, uh, I guess, US dollars traded in, a, in a, the day. The sandbox is up 6.83% uh, in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is 170 with a live market cap of 346 million US dollars. So right now the market cap is $346 million, uh, which is lower than the central land. I believe the central land is around two to $3 billion market cap. <clears throat> so just kind of let you know that, hey, <clears throat> excuse me, there's an opportunity for this to kind of grow if it, start, if it wants to compete with the central land in terms of market cap. So there's a circulating, circulating supply of 620, 689 tokens right now, coins. Uh, the max supply is 3 billion coins. And again, some of that uh, insider owners, creators, they own that, that, that type of coin. So uh, if you want to buy some sandbox, the top exchanges for trading sandbox is currently Binance. So that's one of the, the exchanges where you can find buy, uh, sand token. Or you could go to Hubai Global, OKEX, Uptick, and FT, FTX. So this was some of the exchanges if, if you want to get some uh, sandbox now. So what is a sandbox? Uh, it was launched in 20, 20, 2011 by Pixel. The sandbox is a blockchain-based virtual world allowing users to create, build, buy, and sell digital assets in form of a game. And again, so there's definitely giving opportunities to people to monetize this. Uh, and as a reminder, guy, this is part. This is an Ethereum-based uh, uh, token, and it and and it's also the uh, game. The whole virtual world runs in the Ethereum platform, the Ethereum uh, uh, blockchain. So uh, the, the, by combining the powers of the centralized autonomous organization and non-fungible tokens, uh, Tambas created the centralized platform for a thriving game community. Uh, according to the official white paper, the Sandbox platform, platform's main mission is to introduce blockchain technology in mainstream gaming successfully. That platform focuses on facilitating, facilitating 
uh, a creative play to earn model. And this is what I like the, this is what I really like about this, uh, the sandbox is play to earn. So if you play, you have the opportunity to earn something, uh, which allows users to be both creators and gamers simultaneously. So they want you to create. But Sandbox employs the powers of blockchain technology by introducing the Sand Utility Token, which facilitates the transactions within the platform. So who are the founders? The founders, Arthur Madrid, is a co-founder and CEO of Apixel. He's also one of the, the driving forces behind the Sandbox. So he kind of gives you a little bit of background of the, the founder. The other founder is Sebastian Borget. So what makes the Sandbox unique? compared to other metaverses or other virtual uh, lands. The Sandbox is a unique platform because it introduces blockchain technology to the world of gaming. The gaming industry is a huge untapped market when it comes to the adoption of blockchain tech. And PixOwl saw that in 2011 by creating a universe where gamers can create and collect blockchain-based assets that Sandbox aims to revolutionize the market. It makes a niche uh, for itself in the global market of gaming. Now, I want to mention this really quick, guys. In terms of the metaverse and why this is so important to understand this is that in a new world that we're going to live in, uh, pretty much digital assets backed by the blockchain technology are going to be key and they're going to be very, very important. So as a creator, you're able to create games, you ever create NFTs, you ever create uh, whatever the case may be and be able to sell that in the open market uh, through OpenSea or other sources, uh, you can make a living out of this. So uh, that's the reason why I go over a lot of these videos because it's very, very important. And I really do see this in the future. So I want to, sh again, share my screen again. Um, so uh, by focusing on user-generated content, the sandbox creates a metaverse of involved players who contribute to the platform uh, for its development. Not only that, by but by introducing the SAN token, the sandbox promotes a centralized governance and allows users to share their views and ideas about the development of the project. Thanks to the evolving technology, the centralized governance is becoming a must have in blockchain, blockchain based projects. So the company started out with a bang and attracted a supported investments from numerous big names in, in the gaming industry, including uh, brands like Atari, Helix and CryptoKitties. So that is huge. So um, what I want to go over next, this is the theory scan. So this is kind of where you can kind of check uh, what uh, tokens or what contracts are available in the Ethereum blockchain. blockchain. And then you can see it. This is the contract uh, address. Um, and this is pretty much the price. Again, 300, 3 million SAN tokens available. Uh, of course, the circulation is a lot less than that because some of it is hold, it's held by the owner, creators, and things like that. Again, the price of it is uh, 50 cents uh, per uh, SAN token. And some these are some of the last transactions. So uh, again, if you guys could see 41% um, of, the, of, of, the, of the ownership is owned by this, this uh, address right here, which most likely is gonna be the creator, the creators of, of the sandbox and, 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 and uh, pretty much, which uh, is gonna be part of pretty much these guys, whether it be Author Madrid or Sebastian Borget. And actually, uh, if you kind of go, if I scroll down here, it actually kind of tells me how much of it is owned. So uh, there is a maximum total supply of 3 billion SAN tokens. Currently about 680 million token SAN tokens are in active circulation, which represents 23% of the total supply available as of March 20, 2021. Of the total token supply, about 25.82% was set aside in a company reserve. Another 17.18% were allocated for the seed sale of the token. Now, the seed set of token is actually to raise money to build a platform. The founders and team members secured about 31% of the total token supply distributed among them. Around 12% of the total supply were set aside for dedicated Binance Launchpad sale, and another 10% were dedicated as a reward to advisors on the project. So, um, the SAND token is a standard ERC20 token, which means owners can stake it and benefit from staking rewards. So um, that's pretty much all I want to cover, guys. Again, the reason why I like Sandbox is because it's a relatively new project. It hasn't gone live yet. So that means that you can't just log in and start playing the games yet. It still hasn't gone live, still going through beta. But what I like about it is that you're actually able to create your own game using the, the game maker uh, by downloading that, 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 uh, that software. So, and you don't need to know how to code. So you can kind of create, and if you ever create games, and if you own land, you create a game within your land you own, 
and then you play to earn or play, you know, or you pay to earn things like that. Hey, you can create an economy, you can create income and stuff like that. So um, I hope all that makes sense, guys. Now, uh, let me know if you have any questions in the YouTube comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe that button to the YouTube channel. Uh, you guys were here for me soon. Take care, guys.